Welcome! Today we're going to drop a medicine ball and throw a medicine ball upward and show the similarities between the two videos. Here we go. Hey guys. Hey ball. Hi, hi ball. Flippin' physics. Previously we determined these three graphs for the drop of the medicine ball from a height of 2.0 meters and we determined these three graphs for throwing a medicine ball upward to a height of 2.0 meters and catching it again at the same height. The key here was that the second half of the throw graphs, or when the ball is moving downward, is exactly the same as the graphs for dropping the ball. As you can see in the videos, we can now actually show that the second half of the throw is exactly the same as dropping the medicine ball. That's neat. Cool. I actually agree. Now, if we take it one step further, we can show the dropping of the medicine ball in reverse. You can see that this is actually exactly the same as the first half of throwing the medicine ball upward while the ball is moving up. And in fact, if we take showing the drop of the medicine ball in reverse first, and then show the drop of the medicine ball, that those two loops together are the same as throwing the medicine ball upward to a height of 2.0 meters and catching it again. Wow, I think that actually makes sense. Okay, Bobby, then uh, why don't you summarize then? Sure, uh, dropping the ball and throwing it upward are very similar, and if you combine dropping the ball in reverse and then dropping the ball, you get the exact same thing as an upward throw of the ball, right? Exactly correct, Bobby. I enjoyed learning with y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed learning with me.